welcome back to Mrs. Dream Food Channel. So today I'm back with my own shito recipe. Yes, I know, I know. There are so many shito recipes online. But this is my own and you have to choose. So I really hope you are going to enjoy watching this video and uh, I'll see you in my next one, okay? And don't forget to share my videos, to like it, to subscribe, bring your friend, bring your parents, bring your cat, your dog, everyone, okay? And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Take care. So I decided to add fried diced beef in my shito. So this is optional. You don't have to do it. But I'd recommend you add fried beef in your shito. Trust me, it's very nice. You won't regret it. And then you also need fresh ginger, about 300 grams. So if you're not familiar with grams, look at the picture, that's 300 grams of ginger. And you need tomato puree, so you need about one, two and a half of tomato puree. And again, some people do not use it, but use tomato puree. It's very, very nice with it, okay? And then you need fish powder and ground prawns. So I use two of each and these are from tropical sun but you can find different brands you need extra hot chili powder and this brand is from Raja to me it's the best so if you can get it it's great and of course you need a lot of oil about three liters of oil and you see me adding more oil later on in the video and you need salt to taste you need 10 chopped onions so it doesn't matter the color and as you see on the plate I've already chopped my ginger you also need 10 garlic cloves two and a half scotch bonnet pepper and some stock cubes shrimps and beef so I am starting with the meat. So it's very simple. You just need to add butter in a pan, add the diced meat and let it cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. And do not forget to add some salt. And here you can see this is my meat. It has been cooking for about 10 to 15 minutes and that is enough. It doesn't have to be too soft or too hard. So in a pan you can pour in some oil. So this is vegetable oil. I'm adding about two liters and later on I'll be adding one more liter of oil. And as you saw it I left a little bit of oil in the bottle is because I'm going to use it to blend my onion and ginger. So here the oil is hot enough add in your meat and let it fry for about 15 minutes and don't forget to stir it because it might stick on the pan and be very very careful because it's hot so now my meat has been cooking for about 15 minutes and I'm taking it out of my pan and then don't forget to reduce the fire because we are going to blend our onion. So here I'm adding my onions in my blender as well as my ginger and my garlic and also my scotch bonnet pepper. And then you need to blend it until it becomes very smooth. So I did it in two times because 10 onions is a lot. So I think you might have to do the same thing. Unless you are using a hand blender, then it will be easier for you. But blenders like this need to be done in two times. So once you've blended it and everything is smooth, you can add it in the oil and then Stir it immediately but again be very very careful because it's very hot I even burnt myself so stir it very well and then let it cook for a few 
50 minutes so everyone this is the consistency we are looking for golden brown yes this is what we are looking for so it has been cooking for about 50 minutes and it is now time to add our tomato puree so as I said before I used one and a half tube of tomato puree and that is enough you do not need more you do not need less and I know some people do not use tomato puree but that's their choice I've always cooked shit all with tomato puree and trust me it is very nice but feel free to decide okay and then do not forget to stir it and stir it very well because the tomato puree needs to go everywhere but um, as I was saying if you decide not to add tomato puree then I would recommend you to look at the other Cheeto recipes that do not use tomato puree okay so once you've stirred it you have to let it cook for about 20 minutes so here is my shito. It has been cooking for 20 minutes on a medium heat, so I'm stirring it. And trust me, it's beginning to smell a lot like shito. <laughs> okay. So it is now time to add our chili powder. So here I'm adding about four tablespoons of chili powder. It's because I love it when my shito is very hot but then if you want it hotter you can add more than four tablespoons or if you want it less hot add less than four tablespoons of chili powder but I think with four it should be enough because mine was hot but then again it depends on you and on your preferences and then let it cook for another 10 minutes okay so it is now time to add our ground fish or fish powder so I used two packets of fish powder so and the brand is um, tropical sun but you can use a different brand of course and then you stir it and you let it cook for about three minutes so i'm now adding my ground prawns so here i used two packets of ground prawns and one packet is about 40 grams and also one packet of fish powder is 100 grams so in all you need 200 grams of fish powder and 80 grams of ground prawns and some people use shrimp instead of prawns it's the baby prawns and it's also nice it's the same but I personally prefer using ground prawns so it's my personal preference but uh, feel free to use the ones you like so after that you can stir it so give it a good stir and then let it cook for another 10 minutes so 10 minutes later I'm going to add my oil so I'm adding about one liter of oil why is because um, shito demands a lot of oil so we need about three liters of oil to prepare shito and we also keep it in oil so you can keep it for months okay about four five six months so after that I'll let it cook on a medium heat for another 20 minutes and do not cover it you don't cover shito okay and don't forget to stir it 
so here I'm going to add my stock cubes so I added two prawn cubes and one beef cube I also added some salt but not too much but it depends on you so taste it and judge by yourself if you need more stock cubes or more salt it totally depends on your own taste but to me this was enough and then give it another good stir and let it cook for about 20 minutes in low heat so this time it's low heat okay so everyone this is my shito it's been cooking for another 20 minutes it's starting to cook, to look very nice and then I added my fried beef so as I said fried beef is optional but I recommend you to do it because it gives you something to chew you know and it's very nice so when you're eating it with fried uh, with rice and you don't have any meat with it well you have meat in your shito so it's very nice okay and then I let it cook for another five minutes and my shito is ready so this is one meat there oh look at this shito it's wonderful trust me it's not because it's my own shito but this shito is a bomb you need to try it you need to try it though I'm telling you okay <laughs> So everyone, this is my own shito recipe. I really hope you are going to try it and that you are going to enjoy it because it's a must. It's Mrs. Drew's shito with fried beef. So I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye bye and take care. And don't forget to leave me comments and thumbs up. Bye.